What's up, Nail Geeks? I am back with December 2020 Polish Pickup. This month we have the theme, Everything is Fine. Um, after a little spinoff from the meme with the cute little dog in the flaming house. Uh, that's pretty much how I feel about this year so far myself. Uh, this time I have a little over 30 items to show you guys. So I think uh, once I edit, which is going to be right after I uh, do this, essentially, um, I think this is going to be the longest video that I've got for you guys so far especially for my polish pickup series so um get comfy get cozy get you some snacks and let's dive right into the pretties i've got to show you so real quick before we get into the swatches i just wanted to make a really big announcement that i am giving away five ten dollar gift codes to the ppu shop for uh this friday i'm gonna have a link in the description box below for you guys to join and enter and good luck and um, i'm also gonna do this on my blog too for my blog subscribers and i will pick a randomized person on Thursday night, um, I will email you your code and all that good stuff. I'm super excited to be able to do this. So don't forget to enter and let's dive right into the swatches. First up is Alchemy Lacquers Virtual Escape. This is described as an indigo jelly with green, blue, purple, pink, shifting shimmer, and contrasting gold to lime green, to green, to blue, to turquoise, shifting chameleon flakes. This is inspired by an ode to the gorgeous worlds of the game No Man's Sky. Price is $11.50 and there's a cap of $175 US and $10 UK. So this has a very uh, jelly-like formula to it. It does build up quite quickly on the nail. This is uh, very glowy in person. And for opacity, I'm gonna suggest three coats on it. The flakes in this one are of the medium to larger types. So every once in a while, you get those really awesome, big chonky-like flakes. And they really complement and contrast against the base color. So the shimmer here is what is, um, in my opinion, really just catching your eye the most. It's gonna take on this lovely aqua type of color in indoor lights and in somewhat bright lights. And um, it also has that uh, bit of a squishy like factor on your brush strokes. So again, I think three coats are gonna flatter this one the best. This does dry down quite flat. So I'm gonna suggest a really good glossy top coat to top this one off. And next is Aurora. This is Everything is Awesome. Described as a combination of 33 different flakes. This is inspired by the song from the Lego movie. Price is 13 and there is a cap of 200 US and 20 UK. So this is a uh, topper, but I do think that it can definitely be worn alone, which is what I'm gonna show you guys. If you choose to wear it by itself, I'm gonna suggest uh, three coats for it to give really good coverage. This is packed full of these small to almost medium like flakes. So uh, quite a bit going on here. I think this would make a fantastic topper. It gives you this very strong rainbow like effect um, in this really colorful shifty type of uh, pattern. And uh, for the most part, I think um, if you do wear it alone, I think go in with that icing method that you're seeing on the second coat, just kind of beat it up against your cuticle and then slowly drag them out. And I think that's going to give you uh, the best type of coverage for everything going on with it. Now this one does dry down uh, flat, so you're going to want to use a good glossy top coat, which will definitely help um, all of the uh, color roll that you're going to see from all of the flakes here. And next we have Baroness X. She brings us La Vie en Rose. This is a pink to copper to gold shifting iridescent fluid art polish with scattered hollow pigment. This is uh, inspired for the French language and uh, seeing life through rose colored glasses. Price is $12.50 and there's a cap of $235 US and $15 UK. So I'm just kind of messing around. Um, each month I work on fluid art polishes. I'm just kind of learning things here and there. Um, I decided to try a, a different method uh, for decal making. And I mean, there are just so many different ways that you can do fluid art uh, for uh, these types of polishes. And uh, honestly, I don't think you can go wrong with any of them. You can uh, kind of drop the uh, polishes in uh, a circular type manner and then have them uh, kind of wiggle around on your nail mat. Um, 
but I chose to just kind of mix them up in a little bit of a muddy sort of puddle. The fluid art polish itself is very, very shifty. There's a lot going on uh, with this one. So in bright lights, it's a strong pinky type of uh, color and it angles, it easily shifts over to copper and gold. So I basically let it dry down for maybe an hour. You want it to be kind of tacky. And uh, then I'm going in with a scissors. I'm chopping up my design, what I need. And then I'm going to just adhere it to a somewhat dried down base color. If you're curious, this one is uh, one of the jelly polishes from Baroness X. And uh, then you're going to want to go in with some type of tool, an orange stick or a cuticle pusher, what have you. And um, just kind of adhere your decal down to your nail, do a little bit of cleanup and top off with a glossy top coat and you are good to go. And next we have the uh, Acetone Antidote by Baroness X. This is in the scent Bananas Flambe. So this scent is awesome. I'm getting a strong, true banana type of scent. There is an undertone of this creamy type of uh, scent to it. But honestly, it reminds me of cooked plantain bananas. If you've ever had those in either a dessert type of format, those are one of my favorites, P.S. Um, but it smells like that. It's super fresh and um, really true banana smell. And next is by Danny Viana. This is PJ's My Jam. Described as a super fun thermal with a mix of matte and metallic glitters with clear to blue effect. All the polishes will also include a fail safe, uh, which is a little tiny vial of uh, thermal pigment uh, in case there's any issues with uh, yours transitioning after uh, being shipped. So this is inspired by being at home in pajamas. Price is 12 and there is a cap to be announced on this one. So this has a very jelly-like formula and I was super impressed with just how much glitters come up on the brush. There's a ton. So you absolutely will not have to fish or do any careful placement, nothing like that. Really easy formula to work with. And for opacity, I'm going to suggest two coats on it. It builds up very quickly, especially with all those glitters. Now it does dry down a touch thirsty. So you're going to want to use a glitter smoothing top coat and a glossy top coat combo of some sort. Um, I will get to that in just a moment, but that is what you're seeing on my full hand shot here. And, um, you can see on the ice water shot that there is a very quick reactive uh, thermal property to this one. The warm state is the colorless state. And I do think it has just the slightest bit of a blue tint to it. And next we have by Vanessa Molina. This is shh, described as a red to colorless thermal with iridescent bomb flakes. This is inspired by the uh, infamous Space Beans game. Price is 13 and there's a cap of 400 US and 20 UK. So the formula on this is very jelly-like. It's got a strong squish factor. It's easy to build up and the thermal reactive properties are very strong in it. Now, this is another maker that will also be sending a tiny little vial of pigment in case uh, yours stops transitioning in uh, shipment. And uh, it's a way to revive your uh, thermal if that is uh, necessary. So for this one, I'm going to suggest two coats for full opacity. The flakes in this are very strong. They are of the medium and large variety. I really like the colorless state to this one. Uh, I think the flakes complement both states very well. And as you can see on the full hand shot here, um, it's this really lovely luminous colorless sort of uh, shade. It's got a touch of an off white to it. Uh, it's quite sheer, but it does go to full opacity when it is in the cold state. And next we have Cameo Colors Lacquers. This is Finecraft, described as a darkened teal crelly with a slight gold shimmer, small caramel and brown metallic glitters, red bronze copper UCC flakes, a light dusting of scattered hollow sparkle and a touch of silver hollow micro flakes. This is inspired by a Minecraft version of the This Is Fine meme. Price is $11.50 and there is a cap of $95 US and $5 UK. So this has a very crelly, smooth type of formula. There's a touch of a uh, jelly-like factor with it. It builds up very quickly to opacity. Um, I personally am a big fan of Minecraft myself. My son is a huge fan of Minecraft too. Uh, so we're big Minecraft nerds in this house. But I digress. So we have uh, lots of good flakes in this one. You'll get quite a bit of a dense scatter across your nails. No need for placement or anything like that. And for opacity, I'm going to suggest two coats on it. If you are rocking in somewhat longer nails or you polish very thin, you might need a third coat on it. And it also suggests a good glossy top coat to finish it off. 
And next we have Crystal Knockout Kitty Cure. This is an orange jelly with a shifting red to green aurora, gold flakes, and iridescent color shifting flakies in orange, gold, and green. This is inspired by uh, the maker Candace's Ginger Kitty Mimi that she adopted. And price is 11 and there is no cap on it. So this has, um, again, a very jelly-like formula to it, quite a bit of a squish factor on application, and uh, it's got that nice juicy-like effect after you go in with a glossy top coat. Now, it does start off just a touch sheer, and for opacity, I'm going to suggest three coats to really just plump it out and um, really build it up. Now, I do feel like once you go in for that third coat, you will see just a touch of your smile line still, so if that bugs you, I'm going to suggest some type of color correcting uh, base coat coat or uh, this one this one might even double as a topper um, if I'm honest I think maybe even over lighter colors it would look really cool but regardless it's got quite a bit of shift from all the shimmer here it's got a bit of that reddish almost copper like effect and the flakes kind of match up with that shift too so again on the full hand shot here you are seeing a glossy top coat And next we have Cupcake Polish Margaritas To Go. This is a lime green polish packed with strong red shimmer. This is inspired by the uh, pop-ups of the uh, drive-through uh, margaritas shops. Uh, we have actually gotten, I think, two in my town recently over the last few months. Uh, super interesting. Price on this one will be 13 and there is no cap on it. So this has a very strong jelly-like formula. It's got quite a bit of a squish factor, but it does build up very quickly to opacity. Now I would describe that base color as a true margarita lime green, and that shimmer just contrasts so wonderfully um, against that base color. So not quite neon, but it is still very vibrant in person. I do think on my monitor here, it is coming off color accurate um, and lots and lots of shimmer goodness. So this dries down somewhat flat. So you're going to want to use a glossy top coat. And um, again, you're going to see just a touch of your smile line if you have a prominent free edge like myself. So um, again, if that bugs you, I'd suggest a good color correcting base color. And next we have Dom Nail Polish. This is Contentment. This is described as a light turquoise polish with a gold and pink shift. Inspired by a cute toy dumpster with flames coming out of it. Price is $12.50 and there is a cap of $140 US and $10 UK. So the formula on this is really smooth. It's very jelly-like and it's a touch light. So depending on how you polish, um, I think two to three coats would be just fine. But in my opinion, um, for those of you who have a strong free edge like myself, that it's very prominent, you might want to wear a color correcting base with this one. Um, just really going to depend. Now this has a strong self-leveling formula, which uh, the more I work on this brand's polishes, the more I'm coming to expect that. Um, it self-levels very well, and the shimmer is somewhat subtle in person, but um, in indoor lighting and up close, you can definitely tell there's just pinky sort of shimmer effect happening. It is of a somewhat larger particle variety, and at angles it shifts over to this lovely uh, gold sort of shift. Now I'm going to suggest going in once again with a glossy top coat to finish this one off. And next we have DRK Nails Luminous. This is a light black base mixed with white mag magnetic micro flakes, iridescent flakes that shift red, pink, green, and red to green Aurora pigment. Price is 13 and there is uh, no US cap, but there is a cap in the UK shop for 25 bottles. So I'm going in with DRK uh, Nails magnetic top coat so you guys can see what this one looks like unmagnetized too and honestly i think it looks fantastic both ways so if you wear it alone um, or even magnetized for that matter i would suggest two coats on it builds up very quickly to opacity it's got quite a bit of a squish factor and when you magnetize it um, it gives this really lovely silvery magnetic pigment effect with which has just a touch of movement as you wiggle your nails around now overall it does dry down quite flat so i'm going to suggest going in with a glossy top coat and make sure that you are re-magnetizing your magnetic polishes once you have used that glossy top coat just to make sure you seal in your design and kind of freeze it that way
And next we have Fair Maiden Polish. They bring us Trailblazer. This is described as a multi-chrome that shifts black to gunmetal to red to orangey gold at extreme angles and is laced with silver hollow flecks. Inspired by an ode to the late Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Price will be 12 and there is no cap. So this is the uh, hollow flecked version of their um, red to black multi-chrome, which uh, if you guys checked out my Fair Maiden Black Friday video, they have the regular one in their shop, uh, which is regularly priced now. And I hope you guys snagged it because it's gorgeous. Um, this one has these little uh, hollow flecks throughout it and um, it's just gorgeous. So I think either one's just beautiful. If you did not watch that video, uh, I'm going to repeat myself here for a moment. Uh, this color shift is intense in person, and I'm just going to throw it out there. Very difficult to catch in swatches, um, at least for me. I don't think the video does this pigment justice, and I don't think my swatches did it justice either. It's very lovely. Now on Trailblazer, I'm going to suggest going in with a glossy top coat to finish it off at two coats. And I also wanted to note that a dollar of every bottle will be donated to the Malala Fund, which is a charity near and dear to RBG. And next is Femme Fatale. Everybody knows, uh, you guys can read that. I try to keep this channel as PG as possible. Uh, this is a deep blue jelly with red to gold to green shifting shimmer, a super fine holographic glitters in red and magenta. This is inspired by a short clip from uh, Stephen Paul Taylor. It's on YouTube and uh, it's just a real quick, hilarious, if you ask me, song. And uh, that's what it's inspired from. So the price on this one is 14 and there it will be a cap of 500 bottles. This is stunning in person. There's so much color roll with it. And uh, as you build it up, you can see that the base color is definitely this deep blue, but those little teeny tiny holographic glitters and that red to green shimmer, it, it's just, it's gorgeous. Uh, definitely one you wanna see in person. And for opacity, I think two coats is gonna be perfect for most and really wonderful. This one knocked my socks off, if I'm completely honest. Uh, I loved this one, and not just because it's a blue base, um, but very shifty, uh, lots and lots of color roll with it. It does dry down quite flat, so I'm gonna suggest going in with a very good glossy top coat uh, just to get those color rolls to pop like crazy. And next we have Glisten and Glow, Concerts from the Couch. This is described as a very dark gray base with added contrasting color shifting shimmer that shifts from purple to pink to red to green and gold. This is inspired by the amazing musical artists that brought us amazing live music via social media platforms and television broadcasts. Price is $12.50 and there is no cap on it. So this has a very curly like formula. It's very smooth. It has a touch of a squish factor and it self levels pretty well. Um, I am going to suggest going in really light on your final coat uh, just to prevent any potential streaking because just trust that it's going to self level on its own. And as you can see on the second coat here builds up very quickly to opacity. This is a uh, nice and vampy and the shimmer is of the larger particle variety. So uh, it's pretty obvious in person and in bright lights, it's going to take on this lovely purplish sort of shade and at angles it easily shifts over to this lovely green and gold. Now this does dry down quite flat. So you're going to want to use a glossy top coat to finish off. Now, Glisten and Glow is also bringing us her Glitter Grabber this month. You can grab it for $7.50 with no cap. Uh, this is fantastic. I have featured it multiple times on this channel, and I have used it quite a bit for swatching, too. It's wonderful. I like it so much that sometimes I just want to use it uh, even with regular polishes. But what it does is essentially levels out any sort of highly textured flakes and and or glitters. And you can see here, I'm using it with a Zoya Pixie Dust. This is a Cosmo, if you are curious. And uh, you let it dry down for just a couple of minutes. It's not quick dry per se, but it only takes a few minutes. And then I like to finish off with Glisten and Glow's Quick Dry Glossy Top Coat. And you can see here, I am texture free and it just really brings out that glittery effect. Lots and lots of sparkles from that. And my nails are smooth to the touch. And next we have Indie by Patty Lopez. This is Rainbow at the End of the Storm. Described as a gray base with duochrome shifting shimmer, crystal flakes, and matte white glitters. Inspired by the rainbow at the end of a storm, essentially mimicking, mimicking the year 2020. Price will be 12 and there is a cap of 220 US and 20 UK. So this has a very uh, jelly-like formula. And in my opinion, I do think it's one of those softer, almost sheer type of shades. 
I would suggest going in with three normal to light coats on it. And um, if you have a prominent free edge like myself, uh, it's definitely going to show your smile line in the end. So if that bugs you, then I definitely recommend a color correcting base coat. Um, but also I think this could uh, definitely double as a topper, especially over very dark colors, um, mostly black. I think it would look really cool with the shimmer. So uh, here on the third coach, you can see I've got pretty good coverage, but again, uh, in person, my smile line was definitely showing. Now the flakes in here are of the uh, small to medium type, so they're uh, gonna give you that nice luminescent sort of effect, and the shimmer easily shifts over between this blue and almost purpley pink effect. Again, I'm gonna suggest going in with a glossy top coat to finish it off. And next we have Lemming Lacquer. This is Dysphoria. Described as a dark blue jelly with a multi-chrome shift from red to orange to gold to green and scattered holographic flakes. This is inspired by uh, basically the namesake, which is which means a state of unease or generalized dissatisfaction. Price is 13 and the cap is 200 bottles. So this has another really lovely shift factor happening with it. The base color is what I would consider a very dark inky sort of medium blue and the shimmer takes over everything. So the formula is one of, is what I would consider one of those really dense sort of jellies. There's a touch of squish with it and um, it's just really, really viscous and it builds it very quickly to opacity. I'm gonna suggest two coats to build it up and in person, it does take on this very deep, dark, vampy appearance and the shimmer is very strong here. So in indoor lighting, you'll get that nice reddish sort of effect with it and at angles, it easily shifts over to this lovely gold with an extreme green also happening. So lots and lots of shift here. Um, and those little holographic flakes are of the very small variety. So it gives you that fine particle sort of twinkling effect. Now, again, I'm gonna suggest going in just kind of light on your brush strokes on the last coat, and that will prevent any type of uh, potential streaking with that multi-chrome pigment. And as you can see in the uh, final look here, I've got my glossy top coat on and tons and tons of shift from the uh, multi-chrome effect. And here we have Luna Wax. She brings us a five cent sampler based on drinks. You'll get Merry Manhattan, Blood Orange Margarita, Peach and Strawberry Sangria, and Very Berry Champagne. This is priced at 10.50 and there is a cap of 115 US and 10 UK. Um, this is my first impression of this brand's wax. I am uh, what I consider a wax junkie, and I've got to say I really like her wax. It smelled straight up from the package, and um, it throws very well when you're on a when you use it on a wax warmer. Uh, they smell wonderful, and the shapes are so stinking cute. So this is another wax brand that I would highly recommend. Uh, I personally have fallen in love with them and uh, new to me, but uh, I'm definitely digging it. They are awesome and the smells are amazing. And next we have MLF Lacquer. This is Year of the Nurse, described as a charcoal mauve base with iridescent flakes that shift from aqua, purple, green, red, and orange, and red to orange to green Aurora Shimmer. This is inspired by the nurses everywhere and specifically a painting of a caregiver by Janet Marie. Price is 11 and there's a cap of 190 US and 10 UK. So the formula on this, again, is what I would consider a uh, jelly type of formula. It's got a bit of a squish factor to it. It starts off just a touch sheer, but as you build it up, you'll definitely get this uh, dusky sort of effect with it. And I do agree with the official description. There's definitely this charcoal mauve type of um, effect going on with that base color. It's very, very dusky in person. And uh, there's a bit of this uh, very deep sort of purple lean with it. Now the flakes in this one are very strong. They're really pretty. And they give off this really intense sort of uh, blue iridescent sort of effect that sometimes shifts over to aqua. It's very lovely. Now I'm gonna suggest going in for three coats on this one just to plump it out and get that full coverage effect. The shimmer is pretty strong in person too. Um, in bright lights and in indoor lighting, it's gonna come off as this almost pinky purple like effect that you see in the video and uh, the uh, lovely green shift at very extreme angles. Now this one does dry down quite flat, so you're gonna to wanna to use a good glossy top coat to smooth it out and finish it off. And next up, we've got Night Owl Lacquer. This is on the bright side, described as a vibrant orchid purple filled with glowy red, gold, green, Aurora shimmer. This is inspired by maker Lindsay's many coping mechanisms that she's used to get through this year as she does struggle with anxiety and depression. 
Price is 13 and there is no cap on it. So the formula to this is uh, what I would consider a Crelly. It's quite squishy on application, but also very smooth and a touch self leveling. This is one of those types of colors that I really love. I think it's universally flattering on just about any skin tone. It's not quite neon, but it is very vibrant in person and the shimmer is very strong. So in very bright lights and in indoor lights, you'll see this lovely glowy type of uh, goldish sort of uh, cast to it that you're seeing on the video here and in angles, this one easily shifts over to green. It is very lovely. Now for opacity, I'm going to suggest three coats on it as it uh, builds up pretty decently, but I do think it is just a touch on the soft side uh, given that it allows all that shimmer to pop through. Now this does dry down semi-gloss, so I think any top coat will be just fine with it. And next we have Polish. This is What Would Carol Baskin Do? Described as a dramatic raspberry pink metallic multichrome that shifts through copper and green. This is inspired by the song What Would Carol Baskin Do? by Femme and Alice in Wonderland. This is going to be 13 and has a cap and has no cap on it. So the formula to this is quite rich. It's very easy to build up to opacity. Um, I want to note that I don't think my swatches uh, did this one justice and I'm quickly coming to realize that my new light setup um, does not afford me a whole lot of super shifty uh, poses on my swatches, but uh, it is what it is. So this is quite uh, shifty and in bright lights and in indoor lighting, it takes on this gorgeous raspberry-ish sort of almost burgundy shade, but in very bright lights, it does have this lovely pink cast to it. Now at angles, it easily shifts over to copper and green, really lovely. Now for opacity, I'm going to suggest between two and three coats. This is really going to depend on how you polish, if you apply light and the length of your free edge. I personally took it up to three normal coats and I thought it plumped out really nice. I wanted to get just as much as of that pigment on my nails as possible. Um, just one of those colors that I just, you could just bathe in. It's so stinking pretty. And on the full hand shot here, you can sign it, kind of see that pinky sort of cast and a touch of that gold uh, coming out on the edges there. And next we have Pampered Polishes. This is a shit show described as a rusty red linear hollow with holographic and platinum flakes. This is inspired by the show Shit's Creek. Price is 13 and there is no cap on it. Somebody please let me know if I'm pronouncing that correct. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um, I personally have not seen the show. So um, yeah, definitely correct me on that if I'm wrong. So this is a very jelly-like formula. It's on the touch of a softer side when you're applying. So for opacity on it, I'm gonna suggest three coats to get all those sparkles to pop like crazy. This is, uh, I definitely agree with the official description. It's a rusty sort of red and it has quite a bit of a brown undertone to it. So the platinum flakes in this are of the smaller variety. So they give you this just subtle sort of reflective sparkle with it against that scattered holographic effect. And there's a touch of a linear hollow effect with it too. So the formula itself is super smooth. It's one of those jellies that has that uh, juicy sort of lean with it. And on the third coat to here, you can really see that base color starting to come out. Now this does dry down semi-gloss. I think any top coat will be just fine with it. And Pampered Polishes also brings us shitty ideas. This is a clear base topper with platinum micro flakes, holographic flakes, and a fun mixture of bright colored glitter. This is also inspired by Schitt's Creek. Price is 11 and there is no cap on it. So this is um, a lovely topper. It's got quite a bit of a multicolored effect with those larger glitters. And I really liked those tiny platinum micro flakes. They're small, but they give this really nice tiny reflective sparkle. Now I personally uh, took this to two coats over a neutral base, uh, just because I was a little worried that those platinum flakes wouldn't uh, be represented wouldn't be represented very well in the video. So personally, I think one coat over a cream of any color is perfectly fine. But again, I wanted to be a little extra and make sure you guys are seeing all the goodies um, on the polishes. So I have topped off with a glossy top coat, which I'd recommend for this one. And uh, it really helps to make those platinum flakes just sparkle like crazy. And Penelope Luch brings us Pollyanna. This is a uh, glitter bomb basically with gold hollow glitters and purple to copper multi-chrome flakes inspired by the character Pollyanna from the book by Eleanor Porter. And uh, she is an icon of positivity of finding good things in bad situations. Price on this one will be 13 and there's a cap of 500 US and 50 UK. 
So this has um, a definite full coverage glitter feel on application. It's so stinking pretty in person, lots and lots of sparkles. And I really love this color of gold for the glitters. It's like a true gold, um, but the flakes contrast so well against it and everything lays down nice and flat, really nice application. I think two coats is gonna be just fine for most. Now this one does dry down a little bit on the thirsty side. So you're gonna wanna use a good glossy top coat and it'll just make those sparkles pop like crazy. And next we have Poetry Cowgirl Polish. This is Frozen Iguanas, described as a lime green to emerald green to teal blue multi-chrome with a scattering of gold and black micro glitters and hollow micro flakes. This is inspired by the beginning of 2020 when there was a cold snap in Florida that caused uh, iguanas to go catatonic and fall out of the trees. Price will be 12 and there is no cap on it. So this has a touch of a metallic feel and also a touch of a jelly feel on application. I think most are gonna be fine at two coats, though depending on how you polish, you might wanna go in for a third coat. This builds up very nicely, has a strong scattered holographic effect. The black glitters in here are very, very tiny. So I think um, from far away or if you're uh, nearsighted like myself, um, they're not super noticeable, but uh, what's gonna catch your eye the most is that lovely scattered sparkle from the glitters. Now this one does absolutely have a blue shift over at angles. And Pretty Beautiful Unlimited is going to bring us another wax sampler this month. This is a 15 cent sampler inspired by these soothing and calming scents mixed with a little bit of alcohol and smoke. So you'll get 15 cents in here. You guys know the drill that always watch my PPU videos. Um, this will be eight and there's a cap of 180 and 20 UK. In each of the uh, wax samplers, you'll get a charm. Uh, this month I got that one and um, lovely, lovely scents. These are really nice. I think these are uh, more earthy, uh, more fresh, fresh and clean for this month's theme and there's quite a bit of them. Now Pretty Beautiful Unlimited also brings us a polish this month. This is Breathe and is described as an emerald green base with shifting shimmer, holographic micro flakes, green holographic micro glitters, violet to pink to gold UCC flakes, and two types of crystal chameleon flakes. This is inspired by a serene picture of deep foliage and the electric pink word Breathe. Price is 12 and there is a cap of 150 US and 10 UK. So I actually went in pretty light on this first coat here, and that was just from me painting my other three fingers um, as I realized that this has quite a dense formula to it. So I think two coats is gonna be perfect for most. I really can't see anyone needing to go to a third coat on it. It's uh, quite sparkly in person, and there is this lovely metallic sort of sheen to it and this gold sort of cast. And the uh, base color, I do agree with the official description, a strong emerald green. This does dry down very flat, so I'm gonna suggest a good glossy top coat to make all the flakes and the sparkle pop. And Rogue Lacquer brings us The Sky is Falling. This is a pale sunny sky blue curly with rainbow metallic flakes. This is inspired by Rainbows for Hope with a twist on the name. Price is $12.50 and there is no cap. So this is a very curly-like formula. It's got a touch of a squish factor to it, but it's very smooth and very easy to build up. I'm gonna send a I'm gonna suggest two coats for opacity on it. I really love Crellies with some type of rainbow effect to them. And the flakes on this one are not metallic per se. Um, they look more like shredded candy, if you will. The base color is definitely this uh, really light, almost powdery sort of blue. Now this does dry down quite flat and a touch thirsty. So you're gonna wanna use a good glossy top coat for this one and uh, maybe even uh, a glitter smoothing top coat with it. It's uh, quite thirsty. And Scoflaw Nail Varnish brings us Doom Scrolling. This is a sky blue curly with neon green, black, and ruby glitters, and finished off with a sky blue sparkle. This is inspired by its namesake. Price is $12.50, and there is no cap on it. So uh, per usual, Scoflaw makes really excellent crellies, and this one's no exception, uh, especially if you watched my uh, Black Friday video from her last week. This is uh, really lovely on formula. It's super smooth, very easy to build up. And it's one of those polishes that on the first coat seems like it's gonna be soft, but on the second coat really plumps out like crazy, gives you that really strong type of cream action with it. And the glitters in this one give this lovely mix. So no need for fishing or anything like that. 
Now, doom scrolling does dry down quite flat, so once again, you're going to want to use a good glossy top coat to finish this one off. And Top Shelf Lacquer brings us Wipe Away 2020. This is a bright turquoise base with Aurora pigment that shifts from green to yellow to orange to pink. This is inspired by the ever elusive Clorox wipes. Price is 12 and there is a cap of 250 US and 50 UK. So this has a Crelly like formula to it. It's got a very strong squish factor. It builds up very quickly to opacity. I want to note that this uh, base color is very interesting and I worried how my swatches were gonna come out. On my monitors, they're looking okay, but just in case, um, I do think this is very vibrant and very bright in person. I almost want to classify it as a neon. I mean, it's really flirting with it, um, but not quite neon, but still very vibrant. I think this is one of those uh, types of turquoise that's going to flatter just about any skin tone and really pop against you. Now this is, uh, now this dries down quite flat. So again, good glossy top coat to seal it off. The shimmer takes on a bit of a backseat to that very bright base color, but in person you can tell there's a touch of a pink to gold sparkle. And Top Shelf Lacquer also brings us Hollow Days Glaze. This is a quick dry top coat with the super fun holographic micro flakes that will dry to a nice glossy finish. This is inspired by the approaching holidays. Price is nine and there is no cap. So this is super fun. I do classify this as a uh, quick dry top coat. It definitely performed that way for me. It is uh, quite viscous, which I prefer on top coats to give you that really glossy shine. And um, overall, I approve of it. I really liked it. And the little holographic micro flakes are awesome. They give you this really fine particle twinkle. And again, uh, there's no need to go in with a top coat on this one as this is a top coat for itself. And last but not least, we have Turtle Tootsie Polish. She brings us Quarantine 15. This is described as a purple to dark red to gold multi-chrome holographic polish inspired by all the comfort and junk food we ate during quarantine. Price is 12 and there's a cap of 300 bottles. Uh, P.S. I totally uh, put on a couple pounds myself. I definitely fall into that Quarantine 15 category. So this has a uh, somewhat metallic feel on application, but definitely heavily leans towards being a jelly, but it builds up quickly to opacity. Now for full coverage, I'm gonna suggest going in for three coats on it and it plumps out very nicely. In indoor lighting and uh, bright lights, it's gonna take on this almost burgundy-ish sort of almost purple lean with it and then angles you'll get this lovely gold color roll with it so overall um really strong holographic effect too uh, i do think it's more of a very dense scatter type of hollow effect and it does dry down flat so i'm going to suggest a good glossy top coat to finish it off Now the site is currently up for a wish listing. I do apologize about getting this a little bit behind. Um, I had a couple of homework things come up this weekend. You guys know I like to get these videos to you guys as soon as possible, but uh, thankfully it's before uh, the shop opens, which shopping will start December 4th at 10 a.m. Eastern time and will run until December 7th at 11:59 p.m. Eastern time. I'll link you guys below to Polish Pickups shop if you want to get in there, uh, fix your wish, wish list, add things to it, all that good stuff. And I'll also link you guys below to the uh, Facebook group. Also add in your uh, ideas for votes for the uh, following month's theme and all that good stuff. Uh, this month is pretty awesome and I think it's a really wonderful close to 2020. I personally, again, have a lot of uh, the indie pickup items on my wish list. I'm a big lotion junkie. I just love all types of creams and all that good stuff and uh, really digging it. So let me know in the uh, comments below what you guys are going to pick up, all that good stuff. Also, let me know how you guys did for Black Friday too. I know I personally thought that, okay, these people are going to get real sick and tired of me uh, from last week, but... Uh, I personally uh, was pretty naughty on a lot of uh, my purchases for polish and uh, makeup alike. So uh, yeah, let me know. Um, I am done spamming you guys for the moment. And I'd love to chat with you guys about polish pickup and all that good stuff. 
And last but not least, please don't forget to join my giveaway. Again, I will link that in the description box below for you guys. Um, join, I'm going to pick five random people from the uh, generator, from my blog entries and from the YouTube entries. So five total, and I will be emailing you a $10 gift code if you win. So good luck on that. And um, as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.